50% of Americans have one every single day. It's a craze that's gone from the first wake you up to after dinner dessert. It's the coffee culture. It's a little strong, so we got to put a little sugar in here to cut the, uh, uh, cuts the strength of it. Yeah, maybe a little more. So. Which I will be looking for storm model. Well, joining me in the kitchen today is a very special guest who has come a long way. The founder of Illy's Espresso, perhaps one of the world's best known makers of espresso, Ernest Thank Illy. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us. It's a pleasure being here with you. Oh, great. And a pleasure being able to speak about espresso, which is something that is becoming so popular in the States. It's a kind of a national, uh, I would say, enthusiasm. Now, what it described for us espresso, now what goes into it? You know, espresso is a, a way to prepare coffee with uh, high pressured water and relatively low temperature. You serve it in a tiny cup, as you see there, and you have approximately seven grams of coffee and uh, to one and a half inch, um, ounce mm -hmm. of water. So the water is forced through a bed of particles that you see here, Anthony preparing in the right way. And uh, the water is not only dissolving soluble as normally it happens, but it will also emulsify a little bit of the oil. And this gives the, the big texture, the beautiful foam, the long lasting aftertaste and after flavor. And fun enough, it is not really having a lot of caffeine because contrary to what people believe, especially it's very strong in taste and flavor, it doesn't contain so much caffeine. Approximately 70% of the caffeine is moving into the cup because the time that you need for making an espresso is so short, approximately 20, 25 seconds, mm. instead of the six, eight minutes you need to make a regular cup of coffee. I just have to say, Anthony Zapienza, who's one of our regular guests on the noon show, is joining us today. This is great, wow. Now, what is the difference between espresso and cappuccino? Espresso, cappuccino is uh, an espresso to which you add foamed milk. In a how machine you have a nozzle and you can prepare a little quantity, normally two ounces mm -hmm. that you add to the one and a half ounce of coffee. And you have the frothed milk that will produce a beautiful foam that will help in uh, distributing uh, the flavor on a larger surface. So you have really a beautiful perception of what is in the cup. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm going to give this a try. <laughs> You're sure. I've got to give this a try. This, this has such a wonderful aftertaste. Once we tried it for the first time, we were hooked, and now uh, we won't try any other coffee. Well, these the, cups are pretty interesting, too, huh? The, the cups are made by Sandro Chia, who is a very famous artist in Italy. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, it's great. You know, it's great. not bitter. Espresso should not be bitter, because there is a mis conception about what espresso is. Sometimes people think that espresso is just dark roasted coffee. Mm -hmm. And so the darker you roast, the more espresso it becomes. Oh, it's delicious. Not so. Absolutely delicious. You should not over roast the coffee, otherwise you lose all the flavor that goes in the smoke and the chimney. We have to have a middle roast, a medium roast, in which you have a balance between bitterness, acidity what? and flavor. We have an address here, espresso recipes, that's right, 108 East 16th Street in New York, uh, phone number 212-477-4040. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it, and it was delicious. Thank you. Very, very Can good. Can we, uh, people who write in for this, uh, send the self-addressed stamp think, envelope? I think uh, they will send them a little something uh, nice. We will try to give them some information. We have a booklet on espresso with recipes and instruction on how to make it. Great. Uh, it's really great 50 coffee. 50% of the quality depends on how to we're live at the Colony Center Health and Fitness Fair, the story coming right up.